TSMS is taught to you. And Anthony here with your October 23rd edition of TSMS TV News. There's no STEM club this week due to conferences and no ceramics club today either. Now to a Motivational Monday video speaking about success. One thing I've been observing is that achievement or ambition is broken down into five stages. Learn, experiment, perform, struggle, thrive. Right now the challenge with all of those is, is that we want to thrive all the time. We want to be in Thrive Zone. We want to be winning those awards, getting those views, getting those messages, getting those likes all the time. We want to be noticed and recognized. But actually if we took a step back, we realize we need to be learning, we need to be experimenting. And so what happens is that we get confused by where we are and so our expectation of what we want is totally blurred and we start chasing a false reality. And that's why we find that we get disappointed and confused when we know we should actually be performing. We actually need to do, we need to act rather than chasing that thriving feeling all the time. So next time you think things aren't working out, next time you feel you're not on the right track, step back and ask yourself, should I be learning? Should I be experimenting? Should I be thriving? Should I be performing or should I be struggling? And that one comes around a lot more than you can imagine. Those are great skills to use in your life. Now to the birthdays and a video to give you more information about the autism walk. Good morning, Desert Shadows. I'm here to talk to you about the Autism Walk. It is a community service opportunity coming up at the end of October. It is on Sunday, October 29th at Tempe Beach Park, and you can sign up to be part of our Desert Shadows team. If you attend the event, and you have to sign up online, if you attend the event on, again, it's Sunday, October 29th, you come out to Tempe Beach Park and you can um, receive three hours of community service for simply completing the walk. It is a 5K, which is about three miles. And if you attend the walk and raise money for our team, um, if you raise at least $150, you will get six hours of community service. And that will be created in the form of a certificate and I will deliver that certificate to your social studies teacher. Um, upon completion of the walk. If you're interested in signing up to be part of our Desert Shadows team, we're usually the largest school team attending the event, you can go on to the Desert Shadows website or you can go on to my website. I'm Mrs. Hess. I'm in room E27 and right outside my door are some flyers about the walk and how to register and there's also some in the front office. It's free to register. You just sign up, you come on out and we the race starts at 9.30 a.m. and we walk together as a group and we meet in front of the stage at Tempe Beach Park and we start the walk together. I hope to see you guys out there and thank you for supporting the great cause um, for the Autism Walk and SARC and the studies that they do to help um, those with autism. Hello Dears it's Connor with your birthdays. Today's birthday is Lance Schaffer. That's all for today's birthday. Sorry if I pronounced any of your names wrong. Now it's we will, we will rock you. It's Sarah with your sports. Co-ed and track and field begins on October 30th. All applications and fees are due on October 30th as well. And now back to the anchor. This week is Red Ribbon Spirit Week. Today is Wear Red Day. Tomorrow is Crazy Sock Day. Wednesday is Crazy Hat Day. And Thursday is Slipper Day. Here's a video with Miss Chin and Miss Cursets talking about Red Ribbon Week. I like your shirt. I like yours too. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hi Desert Shadows. We're back. And we're excited to kick off Red Ribbon Week with you today. We invite you to make the pledge to stay drug and alcohol free. We will be out at both 7th and 8th grade lunches with red ribbons for you to fill out. We'll hang these ribbons on the windows outside of our offices. One of the hardest things to deal with in our pledge to stay drug and alcohol free is peer pressure. Here are a few tips that might help you in these tough situations. Listen to your gut. If you feel uncomfortable, even if your friends seem to be okay with what's going on, it means that something about the situation is wrong for you. Listen to your true self and be comfortable saying no. Another thing you can do is plan a bailout or a way to exit an uncomfortable situation ahead of time. This might be a code word, a phrase, 
or a plan that you make with your friends and parents before you go to the situation. Blame your parents. You might respond to a peer who's pressuring you. Are you kidding me? I would be grounded until the end of eighth grade if my parents found out I was drinking. We hope these tips are helpful and we'll see you today at lunch. Remember, your, your future, future is key, key so stay, stay drug free. We're back. That's all we have for today. And remember to stay classy, DSMS. <laughs>